All right, guys. Today's a beautiful day. A little bit warm, but got the bed off the truck or trailer, rather. Sorry. <coughs> I started putting some of the pieces on, but still got a lot of stuff to put on. That's the original bed off of my black Tacoma. That's going scrap. Also, you can see why I replaced it. Now that the, now that that bed's off, you can see just how how bad it was. So I can't be mad at the inspection mechanic for not passing the bed when it's in that condition so can't really uh fault him for that at all but anyhow plus i got to build that cool bed um i'm gonna put this all get this all loaded up on this uh on this trailer here i got a guy who's supposed to be coming met on facebook marketplace um he said he wanted the transmission so I don't know. We'll see if he shows up. If he doesn't, it's not a big deal. It'll go when it goes. But I think I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. I might throw this on a time lapse and let y'all watch me work or what. Oh yeah, here's something. Um, so I put this on the old Instagram last night because I plan on doing a set of half doors for when we do four wheel it. I still need a, a passenger side door. So if anybody has a passenger side door and you're close and you want to sell it for not a whole whole bunch of money, let me know. But I didn't know if I wanted to go with the top line or the bottom line. And the gentleman on uh, Instagram said, hey, why don't you go with the top line? That way, if you want to bring it down farther, you can still bring it down farther. So that's good thinking on his part. I didn't even think about that before I did it. There's the dogs. <laughs> so... I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end up going with that top line and what I want to do that I think will look kind of cool is I'm gonna get some tubing and I'm going to attach it here and over in here so it'll come across just a tube and once I do that I might even bring a couple tubes off of that like a couple tubes off of that to come down and then meet up on what would be the flat part of that so uh, just an idea something that I've been thinking of but I still do need to get another door Alrighty guys, well, I'm gonna get my gloves on and get to work guys so um just got finished loading up the uh the engine and transmission the old owner talk to come enthusiast there he goes i don't want to give out his plate information but hey I'm, I'm really starting to enjoy this uh the toyota family you know the toyota brotherhood everybody seems to help everybody out but i ended up sent actually i ended up not selling not only the transmission but the engine also um, I know that the transmission will be going into an 01 um, 4 runner that he bought with a blown transmission and uh, I guess he's got something to do he's got something in mind for the v6 so hey guys uh, I'm gonna get back at it put this thing get this rest of this truck loaded up I gotta go to work tomorrow start my work week six day work week so I want to get as much as this done as I can so I'll talk to you guys later
All right, guys, so you can see I got a good part of this loaded up. Now, I know I'm probably going to get a bunch of Tacoma fanboy hate, this and that, but I want to give you guys a good look of why this truck got scrapped out. Number one, it was bought at Copar aux Auction, so it, uh, it doesn't have a title. It came basically with a salvage certificate. And uh, so I, there's no way I could have even sold this cab. I guess I could have sold the cab to somebody who was looking for one for like a wood speeder or a uh, like a farm truck, something that would never be put back on the road. But it's kind of unlikely that they would be swapping out a cab. But I want to give you guys a real good look at this frame here. So as you can tell, This truck was never going to be put back together, ever. I mean, that's just me kind of giving it a little pull. This thing was beyond, beyond anything. It was ready to become a parts truck. So I just want to make sure that everybody understands that. If this thing could have been salvaged, uh, there's a chance I would have salvaged more out of it. But at the same time, I also don't want to be storing parts for the next three years. Um, when I started, you saw a bunch of parts on here, a couple doors, a hood, and a bed. Those were all parts from the 64, and, uh, that's a, a stock cross member out of a 64 C10. I bought a couple parts trucks for that, and I was hoarding a bunch of parts, thinking, hey, you know, guys will, guys will be looking for this or looking for that, and it just came down to the point where nobody was... Nobody wanted to buy anything used. Everybody wanted to buy new. And I, I completely understand that. If those are parts that I didn't want. I, I kept the good parts that I got for myself. So, oh my, it's hot. It's tough work. Um, but anyhow, I've just decided I got to start cleaning some of this stuff up. It, it's starting to hog up my garage. So, in the meantime, what I'm going to end up doing is there will be stuff from in my garage thrown inside thrown on this scrap pile and everything before uh before this goes in that bed will be thrown on top the rest of that stuff the frame i think i'm gonna keep the front end i think i'm gonna keep the front end as far as the uh front diff steering rack and front brake setup i want to do a little research i looked at them and they look to be the same if you know this answer Go ahead and put it in a comment but are the v6 front brakes the same as the four cylinder front brakes because they they do seem to be the same size from looking i didn't do any part searching or anything like that but i think i'm going to keep a hold of that stuff in case i need a part <coughs> be it uh you know i i need a part and it's the middle of the night and none of the part stores are open so i might keep some of that stuff i'm not going to keep it all though and a lot of the stuff i can't use on my truck just because of the differences uh but hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button um if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe we're going to be doing some cool stuff with this truck and uh this channel isn't only going to be about the tacoma as time goes by we'll get into other things i did put up a little video of the 64 me and my dad working on it but i have been mostly concentrating on the truck and getting this stuff out i don't want to I mean, I've already got enough stuff in my in my yard, so I don't need another vehicle sitting there. Um, yeah, but hey, hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll get back with you here. We'll, uh, I think the next video, I don't, th I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video cutting up the frame. I have no idea. I haven't got that far yet. So, hey guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, so we're back. After doing a little bit of garage cleanup and a little bit of thinking on it, I've decided I'm not going to keep that front diff. So, what I've done, oh, my battery's about dead. What I've done, went around, loosened up all the lug nuts. I'm going to cut this frame here and there. That way I can wheel this whole thing up onto the garage. Then I'm going to cut the frame here, here. And here, so I can throw those pieces up in. Ooh, I'm going to have to disconnect that drive shaft. Got to do that. 
those lugs are loose. I just want to get this stuff out of here. And if I ever do anything with the front end of that thing, if I do end up blowing that diff apart, that's when I will solid axle swap it. I always wanted to do one. It is a lot of work. It's a pretty decent investment from everything that I'm looking at, but that's what I've decided. I'm not keeping this diff. If somebody in the local area needs a 410 diff or any front end part, shoot me a message. The trailer's probably not going to the scrap yard for about a week, but I don't want this sitting in my yard. Like I said, I'm trying to get stuff a little bit cleaned up. Um, battery's going dead, so I'm not gonna be able to do that and put that in the video but i wanted to give you guys an idea you know i like i said before i don't want to save this stuff i bought it for the rear end sold the engine and transmission today so i'm good with it the engine and transmission is almost going to pay for my gears so hey it's an investment i wanted to do so i knew about where i was going to be with it hey guys i hope you like the uh the content and the video uh, I wish I had more battery life left. I'm going to have to throw this on the charger. But next time you see that trailer, everything should be loaded up. So, hey guys, we'll get back with you then. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, so that's what we're left with as of now. <clears throat> Probably this week after, after work, I'll be able to come out, get the rear end pulled out from underneath there, get that loaded up on the trailer. We got pretty much everything. And uh, after I tore this apart and seen these brakes, I'm pretty certain are probably the same as on the four cylinder. So I am gonna pull those, at least the discs and uh, uh, calibers off and uh, keep them as a spare in case I ever need one. You know, who knows? I, I don't know. Some on, on one hand, I feel like it probably is just gonna collect junk, collect junk, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I will need it at some point. But got her all loaded up. Got a bunch of stuff cleaned out of the garage so far. I still have a lot of stuff to clean out of the garage. So we'll be taking a full load into the scrapyard when this guy goes in. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. See where, show you where we were, and uh, we're moving along. So hey guys, have a good work week, and uh, you know, have a good one. Later.